Dean, eight wins in a row for the first time since 1975. That's some feat today, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. I mean, um, but it, it was a great performance. And to be honest, uh, with the exception of probably Sheffield Wednesday, I don't think there was a game out of them eight that we didn't deserve to win. I thought the performances have been very good. They've been right up there. Um, today, you know, performance levels, you know, with some key players missing as well, you know, Tyrone Mings um, suspended. Uh, Jack Grealish Hill, uh, Jonathan Codger, who done so well on on Wednesday with a rib injury, and um, you know, and they fell on our lap this morning. Um, you know, obviously we knew about Tyrone, but the other two fell on our on our lap this morning. You know, we've got Jacob Ramsey on the bench today, who played 90 minutes for the 23s last night, and to a man, the performance today was ex excellent. Um, you know, the only disappointing thing was it could have made me, made it a lot more comfortable for myself. Uh, we've missed a lot of chances. We could have been six or seven today, and their goalkeepers had a, an unbelievable day, um, keeping most of them out of the net. But uh, no fully deserved win. Um, you know, Bristol City contributed. They, they've got good good players and a good team, but we deserved that win today. I thought we were excellent. Was the message very much at half time? Take those chances because we could have been, like you say, two or three up at the break. Yeah, I mean, we'd had some really good chances in the first half. You know, Albert did it the post keep made a good save off Connor. Um, you know, Connor scored in the end. He probably disappointed they didn't score three or four today. Um, but no, uh, you know, uh, Miele's come in, played his first full game for us, and was excellent alongside Axel. I thought Neil Taylor's been exceptional over there you know, the last month or so, and um, Elmo, but I can speak about all of them. John McGinn, you know, the, the energy and effort he's put in. And Glenn Whelan, it's, it's hard to stop with the superlatives about the team and, and how they're playing at the moment. And, um, you know, um, I've got nothing but pride for them, really. Now, please, that we're now kind of grinding games out once, you know, we concede a goal as well, you know, whereas perhaps before we might have cracked under pressure a little bit. I think uh, one of the biggest parts of it is, is a little bit of belief, but the supporters help as well now. The, I think they can see us not panicking as players and staff, and um, we're quite calm on the ball. We always look like we're still going to go and try and score score goals, even though the opposition have scored. And um, there wasn't the walking on eggshells atmosphere after they scored. It was, right, come on, let's go again. You know, Keenan Davis has gone on and was exceptional for the last 15, 20 minutes. And... Uh, you know, it's a credit to all of them. They're all working hard in training, um, you know, and as staff, we're really, really pleased to be working with them. We're fifth out right now, regardless of any games in hand and other things. How important is that? Yeah, very important. We want to have it in our own hands. Um, you know, we'll have a couple of days off now and then start concentrating on the Easter weekend, you know, first first game Bolton away. Um, but uh, what I've certainly got now is some, uh, some problems picking a team, you know. Um, you know, Jack's been out today. Uh, Tyrone's been out, as I mentioned. You know, and we've we've got some really good performance from other players as well. So, um, great position for me to be in, and I'm really, you know, really happy to to be you know eight games on the spin as, as a, an Aston Villa manager. Only four games left of the regular season now. How much would you love to go and make it nine next week at Bolton? Yeah, no, I'd love to. Um, you know, and that'll be the aim, and the players will as well. They've got a little bit between the teeth at the moment, and they'll keep pushing. Just lastly, can we expand on Jack and Codger, especially was that injury you say? Yeah, Codger had a, a whack in his ribs on, on Wednesday evening. Um, it wasn't too bad yesterday and he had an injection yesterday afternoon, um, but it was still sore this morning, so he was going to have it scanned. Um, we had to send Jack Grealish home yesterday, he was ill. Uh, I thought he'd be okay, but I got the phone call this morning that he couldn't even climb his stairs at home. So, you know, he had a temperature, um, you know, so, you know, along with Tyrone Mings, uh, Courtney Howes is a bit of a blow, but, you know, I still believed in these players that we've got and they, they went and showed me that they can go and perform without them players.